Hello there everybody, it is me Freezer Bunny and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing an overview and review of the brand new venue that came with the Sims 3 store. Um, it is called the Then and Now Country Manor and as you guys can see it is actually a pair of venues here. The core idea of this two venues is like the, the first one over here is like the present state which is the now kind of or, or the then pretty much when the when the blah when the venue was still new and pristine and all that good stuff and then eventually when it becomes to the now it has been forgotten and you know abandoned and all that good stuff so pretty much all the items that come with this set is geared towards giving you that effect of you know a house that has aged and a house that has been abandoned and so if you guys pretty much put them side by side it is the same freaking house the only difference is of course the other one is kind of dilapidated and ratchet and the other one is new and pretty and all that good stuff so what i'm actually gonna do is i'm first gonna show you guys um this the then um house and okay um, so yeah, uh, this set actually came with mostly build mode objects. Okay, another really interesting about this set actually is it that it did not come with a premium content. So there's no new gameplay involved. I believe there's also no new animations as well. So that's a little bit disappointing, but it did come with some really interesting build mode objects. And yeah, um, I think the... They made up for the lack of like new content by giving us two venues pretty much So hopefully anyway, I'm gonna be doing a review after Yeah, after I show you guys the houses because this is actually the first time I'm seeing them myself So yay, I cannot wait. So anyway moving on Okay, so this is the first house and yes, they are houses, they are residential lots, and let's just take a quick roll at it. I'm not even looking at the other one next door. I'm just going to focus on this one, and it looks like it is a Victorian-type house, or an Empire-style house, because they have these nice little mansard roofs, beautiful windows, actually love these windows over here, some stained glass windows over there, this beautiful tower over here out side of it um which i'm pretty sure is an object all in itself and some beautiful new fences as well um beautiful fences and some new stairs as well and looks like some new shutters for the windows and okay for the outside yes this is the garden area on the back and it has this nice little trellis type fence as well that is new quite a lot of new fences over here and on the side, there's not very much going on, and this is going to be the main entrance over here. Okay, beautiful house, by the way, stunning. And, um, by the way, the set comes with 42 new items, including the houses. So that's 40 items plus two, uh, two lots, pretty much. Okay, so let us move on to the interior of the house. Um, let's see if we can get a good view of the entrance area over here. If I press tab, and, oh, I guess not. Mm, okay, whatever. Okay, so this is the entrance area, which is freaking stunning, by the way. Like, I love these. These chandeliers are new, and these are actually two objects. You guys can see that there's a chain that gives you the ability to hang it from a second floor ceiling which is freaking awesome and genius by the way and this is the main entrance and i'm pretty sure you guys can already see the new items first of all a couple of new doors this this window is also new as well and that stained glass window which is freaking stunning by the way i wish there were like different um patterns to it <laughs> so i guess i'm gonna do the walkthrough um like this for now and obviously you guys can see the gorgeous ridiculously gorgeous staircase 
which is actually composed of three items the way you guys see it now. The left and right sides of it that have the railing that are curved are different items individually. And then the center carpeted area is just your normal staircase. So for me, this is the most exciting part of this set, by the way. The staircase, which is ridiculously gorgeous in my own personal opinion. And so that is it. And moving on to the left, we have a nice little sitting area or drawing room or whatever you want to call it with some new curtains. As you guys can see, it has a lace kind of overlay to it, which you can see transparency, which is amazing, by the way. And you can partly see through the outside, which is okay. Okay, it's, a, it's kind of a new thing beautiful new doors which i'm pretty sure came with a base game <laughs> and a grandfather clock which i would have loved if i'd had like some alarm or i don't know I, if it chimed it would be awesome but i guess it doesn't but it's a beautiful shape though it's a beautiful mesh and okay what else let us move on to the kitchen for now i guess and yeah oh my gosh we also have these beautiful new paintings, by the way, which are kind of Baroque in style or kind of Victorian. And the beautiful thing about these paintings are they actually change, you know. You can change them like the ones in Supernatural, like they change with the time. So there's this one and there's another option that, that I will show you guys later when we go to the other house that is kind of like the dilapidated version of this one. And there are a couple of paintings um, that came with this store. I believe there's two meshes and several recolors. I'm not so sure don't, though, don't quote me on that. And this is the kitchen area, which is surprisingly dark for some strange reason. Um, uh, most of the items over here are base game, I guess, so um, nothing new here. There's a nice little place for your child over there. And yeah, okay, mostly base game stuff though, so I love how there's like a center table in the middle though. And it looks like this over here leads to, oh! I thought it was going to lead to a bathroom, though. I guess not. It leads to a nice little sitting area. Yay! Um, or a nice little library. Okay? Which is beautiful, by the way. I love it. You know, it is a two-story library. I love how the chandelier hangs from the second floor. And the chandelier actually is a base game chandelier. So, it shows you that the chain pretty much works with whatever you put on it and here's another one of those paintings that came with this set which i'm very sure also changes with the time and stuff and you know a couple of bookshelves there is a dead baby cow plant which i'm pretty sure also came with a base game so nothing to get excited about that but yeah beautiful curtains and there's a ladder also here which i think is a really neat touch as well so let us move on. Okay, I could have sworn there was like a door here. I guess not. Okay, there's no door. And okay, let us move on to the dining room, I guess. Okay, nothing here. Okay, there's a grandfather clock. Okay, so this is the dining room, as you guys can see. Nothing special as well. Most of these stuff came with a base game, so it barely shocks us at this point. But we do get to admire the beautiful chandeliers over there. So yeah. New chandeliers that came with this set as well. I love this painting. I love Baroque. I'm working on a Versailles project, so that is so tempting for me. And there's a nice little um, there's a nice little bathroom area with only a toilet on it. Ooh, and I've never thought of these actually. I love I love this touch. I can't wait to use it myself. Um, but all of these things came with a base game, by the way. So except for the curtains. So yeah. You guys could pretty much see, like, there's, they did experiment quite a bit with their, like, buildings and things. Okay, look, okay, that's a base game painting, never mind. Okay, okay, this, ooh, is that a door? No, it's a window. Where's the door that leads to here, by the way? And, but, but whatever, you know, this is a beautiful solarium, or sunroom, I guess you could call it. Um, beautiful, there's a nice little dining area, which I kind of prefer 
compared to the one that we saw earlier but it is beautiful you guys it has a beautiful view of the outside and we also get a glimpse of the new windows and doors that came with this set as well as the new ceiling fans which i actually want to see whether they you know all oh, they don't i was really hoping they would um they would have animations and stuff they would turn and stuff but i guess not and moving on towards here we pretty much get um, back to the outside, so I'm just going to do this really quickly. Go back to the main entrance and move on to the second floor here pretty much. Let me just tap it. Okay, cute. Okay, let us go back to the staircase and make our way up, I guess. Beautiful foyer. This is probably my favorite room in the whole entire house. Obviously because of these stairs, which are oh, a dream of mine. If you guys remember Cinderella's story um, with Hilary Duff, she went down a flight of stairs just like this, and I'm just like, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to recreate that moment. And The Sims, like, best day of my life. Okay, there's a couple of balconies over here, so we can admire the beautiful um, Aluna, Aluna Island, by the way. <laughs> And, oh, it looks like there's a nursery over here that does not have a door. It just has an arch, kind of beautiful. I love the ambience of it. I, I'm i kind of actually kind of scared a little bit. It kind of looks a little bit creepy. Um, <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Probably because of, like, the whole Victorian feel to it. But, yeah, ooh, this room kind of gives me the shells a little bit. Okay, to the left here, we have a glitchy roof, of course. But yeah, whatever. Okay, it looks like we have a bedroom. I, I'm going to assume this is the master bedroom because it has the beautiful fireplace. They came with a base game and this chandelier as well, which is kind of used like a lot. It has been used a lot all throughout this venue. So that's interesting. Nothing much to see here except for like the curtains and the chandelier and that door, which are the only items that came with this venue. So wow, like okay. And there is the other um, grandfather clock as well. I wonder if there's like a third floor. I guess there's no third floor. And oh, it looks like this is another um, bedroom. This time it is for the children, I believe. Okay, most of these things, if not all of them, came with the base game. So you guys can pretty much create this venue, even the textures. You guys can pretty much create this venue by yourselves. I'm um, just by looking at it. And that, you know, substitute all the items that we have over here. Um, there were very few items that came with um, the actual set itself. So you can pretty much substitute them with what you have and still get the effect because these curtains look like um something that we have already have from Supernatural and the doors as well and the windows. So I don't see any reason why you guys can't recreate this venue yourselves if you guys can't afford <gasps> this bathroom is freaking stunning. I love this floor by the way. First of all, and um, I love the effect of the stained glass windows. It's perfect for like the privacy aspect of the bathroom. Beautiful. And a beautiful chandelier as well because who doesn't like a posh bathroom, you know? I like a posh bathroom, even though I've never even owned a bathtub, but whatever. And it looks like this hole in the wall is for, yeah, this kind of upper upstairs library kind of which can only be accessed by going downstairs which i think it would have been more efficient if they just added a door over here on top of it but whatever you know okay so it looks like that is going to be it i love how this chain hangs i love that aspect probably one of my favorite parts of this is number one the grand staircase and number two is definitely the chandelier and the chain that comes with it okay so that is going to be it for this first um house venue so this is the then okay guys and let us now go on to the now where apparently the owners have passed away and have died or something and they have 
lost custody of their house, it has been ransacked, nobody has been taking care of it, and it has gone to the story, I mean, to the sorry state that it is now, which is really, really sad, um, but it still kind of has that romantic aspect to it. Now we get to see the new weeds that came with the set over here, really, really nice, looks like tips of broomsticks by the way is that a clue EA and you guys can see that the trees they pretty much died <laughs> because nobody has been taking care of them nobody has been maintaining them and everything is in disarray you know the weeds are growing everywhere the furniture outside is everywhere and there's actually bits and pieces of the house <laughs> falling apart that would be freaking amazing if like Ah, uh, that was an actual thing in The Sims 3, you know, when your houses get old and you don't maintain them, they would actually fall apart. I think that would be freaking brilliant. But anyway, let us move on forward towards the house. But, okay, so this is it. This is the main entrance, which is freaking creepy, by the way, but we do get a view of the beautiful fence that it gives us. And that is the main porch with the freaking... Um, what do you call it? Frickin' um, fan, ceiling fan that does not have any animations. Freaking disappointed about it. Um, okay, what I'm actually gonna do here is I'm gonna turn on the lights first. <laughs> um, turn. Oh, it's already on. What? What the hell? Is it already on? I doubt it. Turn off all lights. Okay. Let's turn on all lights, and let's just change the color of it to flame. And let's set intensity to bright all lights. Hopefully that's going to help us see the venue a little bit better. And, okay, moving forward. Um, so yeah, th that tower is pretty much a separate item onto itself, and from the get-go you guys can see that pretty much everything has a duplicate, and that duplicate, like all the the new um, build mode meshes have a duplicate, and those duplicates are pretty much like dilapidated states of what they are, so this window you guys can see several versions of it are patched with wood, which is really interesting by the way. So it has wood planks over it to prevent, like, theft and stuff. And then there's also this door here that is actually kind of an arch. It's not necessarily a door. It's kind of just an archway and because the door is pretty much broken. And this pretty much just invites all the, you know, all the thieves and all the burglars to, you know, go and burglarize this freaking house. And this is the main foyer, which is freaking horrible. Um, it has been ransacked, and yeah, like freaking crazy. There's plants growing everywhere. It's really dark. And another new feature of this of this venue of this set is the cobwebs. You guys can see a <clears throat> couple of versions of that as well. Um, so you guys can definitely use it, you know, for Halloween or when you're decorating your Sims houses on Spooky Day. Whoa, look at that. Wow. There is actually a freaking hole on the roof, which is freaking stunning, if you guys ask me. Freaking stunning. Okay, let's just do the usual. This is the living room that has an urn on it. <gasps> oh my gosh, is this thing lit or something? Oh my gosh, it's really creepy. <clears throat> That weird fiery glow on the freaking fireplace is freaking creepy. And yeah, there's an urn on the table. I don't know why. Um, th did the owners die here? That is the question we should ask ourselves. And another view of those windows over here. And yeah, there's no more curtains. Probably got stolen. And there's also some hole on the roof. I don't know why it's glitching like this, but yeah. <clears throat> And there's also some plants making their way into the house itself. Holy crap. And okay, let us move on to the next room, which is the kitchen. <clears throat> can speed things up here a bit. <laughs> <clears throat> and you guys can see that the painting has also worn itself out. And, you know, the painting itself, not just the frame of it. And you guys can see the face of the lady is actually really, really scary. She kind of looks like a monkey. 
Ugh, you know, actually that gave me goosebumps. I'm not even gonna lie, okay? And this is the... Okay, hmm, well, this is weird. I guess this is how it's supposed to be. Th those counters are actually floating. I don't know why. <clears throat> There's some cobwebs on the ceiling as well, and the tables are a mess, you know. Most of the things are gone now because they have probably been, been stolen, you know. The, the stove... The stove, oh, the stove is still there, no, I mean the fridge, and there's also some trash over there, and the ceiling is crackling up. <clears throat> over here, the sitting area library thing, nothing is here, you know, there used to be a computer, or a computer desk, and there's <laughs> some clothes everywhere, and there's some, some grime over here, which is interesting for some, I'm seeing that. Half of the bookshelves are gone, and the upper part of it is also gone, and there's a hole in the roof. And there's also like the <laughs> the chandelier has also been stolen, so that's really interesting. And let us go to the dining room and see how it's doing. Pretty sure no one would want the things in the dining room because those are base game items. <laughs> but anyway, those are the windows. Oh my gosh, they are actually broken. You guys can see that the glass on them is actually broken. Wow, that's actually a really neat touch. And yeah, the the living room is freaking. I mean, the dining room is pretty much been ransacked as well. Oh my gosh, this is so sad to look at, and actually a little bit creepy as well. What is this area? Ooh, I guess it's nothing. I don't know. Whatever that is, that's weird. There's a lot of weird spaces over here. And also the plants that are like taking over the house, you know, nature is going to take over everything. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm such a tree hugger, but whatever. And let's check out the bathroom. Oh my gosh, and it doesn't have a door as well, but it does got it. Well, it did get invaded by the plants and all the good stuff. Well, it looks like those shelves are still there, so at least. Oh my gosh, those cobwebs are freaking creepy. And, okay, this area is the sunroom, which is actually just the outside, pretty much. You know, oh, look at that. The windows are actually, like, kind of messed up. You know, they're broken, and their frames are also, like, ratchet and rugged, and, oh my gosh, that's really, really nice touch, actually. And, play it, okay. <laughs> the, the ceiling fans are still not working, so, boo. And let's make our way back to the grand staircase where we can where we can go to the upstairs. If we see any ghosts, I am freaking going to scream like shit. Okay, guys. Okay, this. Oh my. This is the balcony, and as you guys can see, if I took a step further, I would have fallen because one of the railings is missing. Of course, dilapidated house here, you guys. And this is that creepy nursery, which I'm not even going to explore too much, because there is a freaking baby bottle, you guys. Really, really creepy. Oh my god. Really, really creepy. And over here is that dilapidated painting. Over here is that other bedroom, which, oh my gosh, there's that fire again that's getting burning, like, eerily. And yeah, abandoned bedroom over here. And, ooh, this bridge actually over here is now overrun by plants. I kind of feel like I'm doing... Is there an upstairs? Oh my gosh, there's an upstairs. Wow, I didn't realize that. That's over here. Okay, I was I was kind of hoping that I would see, like, some bodies or something, but I guess not. And uh, let's see here. There's this one other bedroom over here. I kind of feel like I'm doing like some sort of an am amnesia gameplay because it's so creepy. Okay, okay. As usual, the bedroom is also abandoned as well. And if you guys can see that window over here is also broken and stuff, shards of glass everywhere. And there's this one bath. Oh my! One one bathroom over here. Obviously, the bathtub is broken you know the plumbing on it is broken and also the floor that it's on is broken so i'm not really sure like how long this is gonna last this house you know i am actually a very like um i am an advocate of like heritage conservation if you guys get what i mean you know so i'm really big into preserving old houses because you know they should be preserved <laughs> 
for the future generation, you know? And anyway, <laughs> blah, ranting over here. This is pretty much just a big rant if you guys didn't get that for the first five minutes. But yeah, um, this is the upper floor of that library area. And yeah, really, really creepy as well. Still looks kind of romantic though with that chain just hanging there. I can imagine actually like a body hanging from the- Oh my gosh, too morbid. Too morbid as if someone hung themselves. But yeah, that is it for the other house, you know. And that is it for the dilapidated house. And I actually just want to see over here if it has like a- Okay, it does have a storage area slash um kids play area which can be accessed i did not oh okay that explains it those weird like rooms earlier are actually to accommodate these stairs so that we can have like some children go up here and play i guess with their toys which is actually freaking creepy i remember in amnesia the children were kind of hiding in the attic and stuff so ugh. It gives me some goosebumps, okay guys? So before we move on to the individual item showcase, I would like to go on to Edit Town and just, um, <clears throat> pretty much read you guys the description of the house, okay? So the Century Manor then, and the Century Manor now. Take a stroll, and it is built on a 40 by 48 lot, by the way. Take a stroll through history with the stunning architecture of the now and then, Century Manor. This breathtaking mansion shows the grandeur of the Second Empire design and all of its colonial glory, and again, as it stands against the rigors of time. Okay, guys, so let us go back to our house. Let's hide. I'm just gonna have our Sims go back to the house. These are the Sims that I did use for my gameplay on Into the Future, by the way. So if you guys notice that they are dressed bizarrely, that is the reason why. So yeah. <laughs> We're back home. And let me just hop into um, the build by mode here really quickly. And see um, all the new stuff that we get. Let's see here. Um, store items. I wish it would filter like by set. That would be freaking awesome. Oh no. Okay, let's just filter by store content. Okay, looks like there's not gonna be any plumbing things. Nope, no plumbing, no appliance. Ooh, no appliances. Um, I'm not so sure if there's any surfaces. I'm not so sure. I I don't think there's any new tables. I also don't think there's any new chairs. So um. I'm not too sure if there's any new- Okay, there's a new electronic. There's this new clock. I actually want to see if it's like, um, if it actually works. Let's see if there's new, um, skill objects that came with it. Obviously, there's no skill objects. Definitely, there's going to be some new lighting. Um, we did see a couple of them. The, we did see the chandelier over here. Okay, let me just... Um, try and move objects on. Okay, there's that one chandelier. Comes in a, a nice couple of different colors. And we also have this nice little ceiling fan as well. So, there we go. Also comes in several different colors as well, default. And I want to see if there's any new outdoor lights. Nope, there's... Oh, what is this? Okay, I guess not. That didn't come with a set. Okay, let's see if there's any new, definitely I'm pretty sure there's new paintings. Okay, the cobwebs pass off as paintings, by the way, you guys. Okay, there's another one over here. And there's also three cobwebs, <coughs> excuse me, three cobwebs, and um, I believe this is one. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm looking for, okay, I guess this is one of it. Oh no, that's not well. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. Okay, this is one, definitely. And oh, and it already comes like. Okay, I guess not. Yep, it already comes like this. So you guys can really make the comparison. 
I think the biggest thing that I notice about the painting is really this lady's face, which looks like a monkey on this other side. Oh my gosh, which is actually kind of grossing me out. Really, really creepy, by the way. And we have this timeless beauty presented in oil. I love the frames of it, by the way. Very, very Baroque. And yes, it does have a dilapidated state. And you guys can see that the painting has kind of run down. Really, really horrifying, in my opinion. These are probably like the scariest ones um, that came with the set. No new mirrors. I'm pretty sure there's a couple. There's a curtain. Okay, over here. Show you guys. Let me just show you guys in a couple of different colors. Over there, nice little pink curtains to like you know brighten up the day, I guess. And we also have um some. Do we have any new rugs? Nope. These are from these bakers thing. Okay, here we go. The new roofs, which you know make up the bulk of this set. We have this beautiful little tower over here. Beautiful, and we also have a couple of mansard roofs here. So if you guys don't know, mansard roofs are kind of roofs that are high pitched on the sides and are flat on top. So you guys can put like a deck on top of it or something like that. And yeah, I'm just arranging it so that it would make sense and stuff. Okay, this is like I guess the middle area of it. There's another. Okay, so I guess there's two corner parts to it and stuff so that is the awesome um mansard roofs i guess beautiful one of the best parts of this set in my own personal opinion and okay let's check out um i believe these are the cobwebs so i'm not even gonna bother with them i'm looking for that chain though so okay those are not part of the stats okay there we go this is the chain which pretty much um, can be used in any, with, or with any chandelier, pretty much. So let's just plop that there. Beautiful. I think it's a really, really neat touch. <laughs> and I think it's a really creative touch as well. Um, what is this? Okay, there we go. These are the stair items that we get with a set. And this is one of the stairs. Um, this is the right edge and this is the left edge of it you know what let me guys read you the description let me read you guys the description of it because i think this is kind of like the selling point of this whole set other than the man's or groups i guess take a stroll through history okay whatever i guess it's the same description so these are pretty much items two um two tile in width and one two three four tiles in length and you guys can place your actual stairs that your sims are going to use in the middle of it. So your sims cannot use these stairs by themselves. There has to be an actual staircase in the middle of it, okay? Clear? And let's see here. I doubt there's any new stuff over here anymore. Really doubt it. So let us move on to the build. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. And let us move on to the build and buy mode, which there are a couple of doors and windows that is available for us. Okay, these are the, oh my gosh, really, really noisy, I'm sorry for that. Dilapidated door, and a couple of, I'm going to put them next to each other. So these are the doors in their pristine state, and these are the doors in their destroyed state, pretty much. You guys can see, the glass is broken. This one I love, actually. Because it's actually not a door. It's kind of just an arch where the door is open. I think that's a really, really neat touch, if I do say so myself. And, okay, moving on to the windows, I guess. We have a lot of windows, by the way. This one destroyed window and this one new window. I guess, oh, or I guess it's new. I'm not too sure. Yeah, I think this is the new one and I think this is the destroyed one. And you guys can see that even the glass has a shadow to it so that's really really cool actually and um let's see here okay this is the new window and these are a couple of like patched up versions of it i love how there's like different um wood patterns to it so you guys don't just get the same old look to it 
I love to build, you guys, so I'm really, really happy with, like, the new build mode objects and stuff. Really, really happy. Okay, so there's a bit of space over here. Okay, okay, I'm showing you guys that already. And let's see here. This window is what I love. I think this is, like, a basic standard window that you guys have to have um, in your house because it's just be very, very beautiful and very timeless. You know, very timeless beautiful I guess so I, all these three windows have the same frame the only difference is that this one looks like it's new and has glass on it this one has a broken glass and it's the older version of this one and this one is the same glass version let's see if there's any new arches is this like part of this set uh no, I guess it's not I'm not so sure I'm putting it beside the doors no I don't think they this is part of the set, so never mind. Ignore that. Let's see if there's any new columns. No new columns, no new fireplace, but there are a couple. There's a new staircase, by the way. Over here? Oh, no, no, no. Um, let me just place that over there. And it also came with, like, the nice little railings as well that matches, actually, these ones. So if you guys have a problem with them matching, you don't have to worry. Everything can be recolored and everything can be, um, you know, there's a solution for everything pretty much. And yep, new railing and finally the new fences. There's a couple of them and, ooh, this is a fence? <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> this is a fence. I did not realize that. I thought this, I thought this one was, I honestly thought that this one was like a separate plant, but I guess it's a fence. I'm actually really surprised. Oh, I guess this is a dead version of, like, the base game hedge that we have. So, yeah, that's that. You guys remember the hedge that we have for the base game? Um, this one, I guess. You know, when it dies, <laughs> it looks like that. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what to say, but, yeah, wow. I just like the fact that there's a new fence. Like, this. And there's also a brand new fence over here. And I want to see, um, yeah. Brand new fence that has like partitions to it. I really wish that it didn't have that. I think it would look more dignified and more awesome if it didn't have that kind of partition. You know, these ones in the middle, I wish they would go just straight. But whatever, you know, you can't have everything. Okay, and beggars can't be choosers, I guess, but I kind of paid for it. And this fence, which is really, really laggy, by the way, you guys. So, really stunning, though. Absolutely freaking gorgeous. One of the most beautiful fans ever, um, in my own personal opinion. Beautiful. Love it. And finally, this uh, one other fence over here, which is very similar to what we have from Supernatural as well as um, University Life. And also some came with some star... Um, some star releases as well. I believe there is one that came with Midnight Hollow as well, similar to this. So yeah, that is all of the items as well. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a review here. Um, the set costs um, 17 US dollars, 1700 sim points. And that is discounted from an original price of 1900 sim points. And you guys can avail that discount until May 6th, so that gives you about a week or less than a week. 442 items, including two houses, I do not think it is worth it, honestly. I honestly don't think it's worth it. Um, there's a lot of beautiful items in this set that I would use, but that is because I am a builder. I'm pretty sure you guys... Um, if you guys don't build houses for yourself, I don't think that you guys would benefit a lot from the set because it doesn't offer any new experiences. It doesn't have a premium content. The the, the curved staircase does, ha does not have any new animations, nor does it have any new interactions, anything. These are just meshes and decorations. If it costs probably a thousand simoleons, I mean a thousand sim points, I would be okay with it. You know, 1,300, I guess, it would be the highest I would pay for it. Honestly, um, you can also pretty much achieve master groups already in The Sims. You know, they have already done it in the previous venue. It, al it already had master groups. So why give us this one? 
when we can already do it ourselves. But nevertheless, I do see myself using many of the items, in particular the staircase and the doors and the windows as well as the paintings and the chandelier and um the the this kind of chain that it has but other than that all the the rest of the items i'm not so sure if i'm gonna use them so in my opinion i don't recommend you guys purchase this i do recommend you guys purchase like um other venues that came with premium content that cost pretty much the same in the sims 3 store because that at least will give you guys new experiences. I guess the saving grace of this um, release is the two venues that it comes with. But, well, um, I'm not so sure whether people will actually live or like to play their games in a house like this that's dilapidated. Maybe machinima artists. And honestly, in my own personal opinion, I could build a house just like this very easily. And I'm pretty sure everyone can. So I guess if it was a little bit cheaper, I would feel a little bit better purchasing it. If it included that L-shaped stairs, I would have feel, felt so much better. Because I really wanted it to be part of this release. But they had to take it out at the last minute for some strange reason. So yeah, that is it for my review. Um, Not worth it. I don't recommend it. And yeah, that is going to be it for my review. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and sticking with me through this really, really long review. And yeah, that is going to be it for my review. All the links for my social media are in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye!